Hi family, welcome back to my channel. I am Shane Higgins here with a quick prophetic word. So listen, I pray that everybody is having a wonderful, blessed day, okay? Let this week be a beautiful, wonderful week for you. Take hold of God's peace. That is one thing I have been experiencing um, since the beginning of this year is the peace of the Lord. So that's what I pray. I just pray peace for everybody because we are all facing, you know, um, things in our lives and one thing we all need is more peace in our life okay so that's what i pray for you this week is peace joy and happiness okay so i'm gonna go ahead and get into this word so a few days ago i had this dream and i was in this building and it was a guy sitting in a chair and behind him was this gigantic window and so when I looked out the window, that's when I realized that we were surrounded by fire and it was a wave of fire coming towards us. And so when I seen this, I asked him, I said, you don't see the fire <laughs> that is getting ready to hit this building. You don't see that we're surrounded by fire. And he never looked up. He never looked back to see what I was talking about. All he said was, you're going to be okay. Don't worry. The wave of the fire is just coming towards to, towards the building. And finally, it hits the building. It did not do anything. It did not burn anything. It Nothing. Nothing moved. Nothing melted. I asked the Lord. I said, Father, what is this? What does this dream mean? What are you trying to tell me? And so he took me to the book of Daniel, um, chapter 3. And in chapter three, it talks about um, Shirek, Meshach, and Abednego. They didn't bow down to King Nebuchadnezzar's um, God. And so because they didn't bow down to his God, he threw them in the um, furnace. And because he was so angry with them, he turned it up even seven times hotter. Okay. And so this is what um, the Lord wanted me to deliver to you guys. First, he said, believe big. And when you believe big, he is able to amaze you. Okay. And so he said that if you would just trust in him, rely on him and have confidence in him, he will blow your mind with the things that he will do in your life. Okay. When people try to persecute you, they come up against you. They make you think that you're crazy. They don't like what you're doing because you're doing something that is against what they believe in. Um, when you're following God, but to them, it looks like you're just losing your mind. God says, stay planted. This is the season where God wants his children to stay planted in him, stay planted in the truth, stay planted in his word, stay planted in your faith, in your belief, no matter what anybody do to you. People have been experiencing persecution everywhere. But God said, don't you worry about that. Don't worry about what people think about what God is doing in your life. One lesson God have taught me this year, anyone who comes in your life and try to judge you and make you feel like you're going crazy and they come up against what God has spoken to you. God said that is the antichrist. That is of the enemy. That is not of him. So leave those people alone and you keep moving along. So if they are coming up against you and try to get you to see their way, try to get you to believe in what they want, what they believe in, God say, no, this is the season where he wants his children to stay planted in him. Be unshakable because the enemy is after God's children every single day, trying to get them to fall, trying to get them to move, go back to what we used to do. He is after us. So stay planted and believe big, believe that whatever situation you're in, no matter what it is, God have your back. God is in that place. God is going to deliver you. God is going to rescue you. God is going to pull you out of the fire. When they put you in the fire, when they persecute you, yeah, you may feel the heat of the persecution, but God said that you will not even be touched by what they are trying to do to you, by them trying to kill you. 
God said, we don't have any more time to waste playing around and playing these childish games with people who don't understand your journey. It is your journey for a reason. This is your walk, not their walk. So I just pray that you continue to hold on, hold on in the trials of life, hold on through the persecution. And God says that vengeance is mine. You don't have to vindicate yourself. God will vindicate you. God will have your back. We don't supposed to move because vengeance is the Lord. Because when we move, we're showing God that we think that we are in control. When God says, no, I am in control of that situation. So I want you to continue to move forward. I want you to continue to pray for your enemies. That's what you do. Pray for your enemies and you move forward. And in due time, when it's the right time, God will show up and he will vindicate you. So if you are in the fire, just like Shirat, Misha, and Abednego, if you are in the fire right now, God says the angel of the Lord is there with you. The angel of the Lord was there in that building with me, told me, don't worry about what you see around you. Don't worry about the heat that you feel. Don't worry about what they're saying. Don't worry about what they are doing. Don't worry about how they're talking about you behind your back. God said, I am with you. Be strong and courageous in this season. Oh my God, I'm so excited about this word because so many people have been facing persecution all because of what God is doing in your life and it looks different all because you're choosing to follow Christ and not follow the ways of the world anymore people will come against you so bad but God says to stay planted in the truth Mark 9 23 and it says all things are possible possible for the one who believes all God wants you to do is believe. Misha, Shirat, Misha, and Abednego believe that their father will rescue them. And so that's why the angel of the Lord was in that place with them. God said, he's so good. You don't have to worry about these people. You don't have to worry about nobody coming up against you. The one that's persecuting him, the one, the, those, the guys that was getting ready to throw um, Shirat, Meshach, and Abednego in the burning um, furnace, they burned up and died and they survived. God says, vengeance is mine. Don't try to operate in your own strength because when you do that, you mess things up. So you stay planted and it's hard. Trust me, I know it's hard because I am going through that. I've been going through that since 2020. Since I started this YouTube channel, I have faced persecution so much. It ain't even been funny. But God has been telling me all the time, vengeance is mine. I really pray that this word minister to you, that it helps you and let you know that you are not alone. God is with you everywhere you go. He is with you. He is fighting for you every day. He is fighting with you. He is in the fight with his children. All right. So y'all listen. Mm, thank you, Holy Spirit. Lord, we seal this word up and we come against any backlash uh, from the devil. We seal up this word, Father. Protect your people. Give your children peace on this week, Lord, in this month, the whole month of February. I just pray for peace. I pray for peace for your people because so many of us are going through so much. But you told us to not worry because you are in the fire with us. So I pray for your people. We repent, Father, for all our sins and transgressions. We thank you for your, your love. We thank you for your mercy. We thank you for your grace, Father. I love you so much. I love you so much, Father. Thank you so much. Amen. Well, guys, that is it. I love you guys so much. But the most important thing to remember is that your father loves you more. Okay? Always remember that. Your father loves you more than anybody could ever love you okay y'all make sure y'all give this video a thumbs up comment down below subscribe to my channel if you have not already done so thank you to all of my new subscribers my returning subscribers i love you guys i love all of you i just pray that you guys can experience the joy and the happiness and the peace that i have been experiencing 
this year already this year have started out very good for me and i'm just thankful to the lord listen repent every day try your best to do it right god is not asking for his children to be perfect he just want us to be in right standing with him okay so continue to try your best to get it right every day repent Follow the Lord. Turn away from this world because this world is passing away. Okay. The world is dying, but you shall live and you shall have a spot in the kingdom. All right. But I love you guys. Take care. Stay safe. And I will see you on the next one. Bye.